Hey, NFL fans. So what do you think? Uh, I think it seems like the deal is definitely going through with the Commanders. Let me tell you something. Daniel Snyder, ever since he took over the Washington Redskins, well, sorry, the Washington Commanders, I still get stumbled over that. He was not a good owner. He mistreated people and all these allegations. Like, I remember when my father first saw him, he goes, this guy's a nasty guy. This guy doesn't know what he's doing. So I think a lot of the owners wanted him gone as well. So it looks like the deal, I think it's going to be worth somewhere around $6 billion. It just has to be finalized, so, but it looks like it's going through, thank God. And the first order of business with the new ownership is that they're going to have to do something with that stadium. They're going to have to tear it down and rebuild it because, I mean, I've seen how bad it looked. There was water leaks everywhere. One of the fences broke. Thank God the class act that Jalen Hurts is, they almost fell on top of him. He could have moved out of the way, but he was picking them up and saving them from getting serious injuries. But that stadium needs to be repaired. So, you know, finally I got some news to talk about because, you know, it's been so slow with the NFL because you got this whole Aaron Rodgers drama. And nobody even knows what's going on with him now. You know, it, it looks like he's going to be a Jet one way or another, but the, it goes by, you know, compensation. Also, Aaron Rodgers. I don't know. I think there's something wrong with Aaron Rodgers to begin with because he seems to... Uh, be iffy on stuff, like almost like selfish, now he's like 90% sure he wants to retire now, it's like, the Jets don't need that by giving up draft picks, but yeah, so, like I said, it's been so slow, I just can't wait for the draft to see what's going to go on in the draft, you know, especially with the Jets, especially if they're going to wait to draft day to actually make the deal with Rodgers, who knows, but um, I'm just glad, really, about the commanders finally being sold, because I was just like, this owner's terrible for the league. You know, the team just stunk. I mean, I've always been a Bills fan, but there was something very special about Washington when they played. They seemed, like, strong, intimidating, and they won three Super Bowls. With Dan Schneider, they went downhill. Because I know when he first bought it, he kept overpaying for Wally Old veterans that were past their prime. So, you know, he never gets anything right. So I'm so glad they're finally smart enough to you know, allow the sale to go through. So this new owner group, ownership group, hopefully they're not bad. Because, you know, the new ones are the Broncos. They don't look very good themselves. So Broncos look like a mess now with new ownership. So hopefully they got a good ownership group that's going to really turn things around. So, but anyways, everybody, I, I want you to give me your thoughts on this. About the Washington Redskins, you know, being sold. You know, please hit the like button. Please hit the notification. And please uh, subscribe and please share this video. And like I said... Let's see what happens in the draft. I don't know about you, but I'm very excited. But anyways, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for listening.